my fingers off with a pair of hedge clippers. I was out in the yard with my son. We was putting up lattice work and we got done and I decided, well, I'll trim up some of these bushes around there. And when I step over to step in, I tripped and I fell. The clippers was opened. And when I fell down, they went shut and they whack off them two fingers. My little finger and ring finger. There, this finger here was laying on top of this finger like that. Didn't hurt. It didn't hurt, I didn't pass out, I didn't cry, I didn't scream, I didn't do nothing. I just hired for my son to come to pick me up. And I looked down and I seen my fingers laying there. And I thought, oh. So I picked them up with this hand and laid them in here and covered them over. When he got to me, he said to me, he said, Mom, what do you do? I said, you don't want to know. And when I raised my hand back like this, he said, oh my God, Mom, he said, you really done it this time. He jerked off his shirt and wrapped him up. I'm gonna call 911. I said, okay, call 911. But the ambulance driver, driver, thank God for him. When he seen the fingers, he said, oh, no, no. She goes to Union Memorial. So they brought me here. And that's when they got Dr. Cat. And they took me into surgery. I was in there, I think, about ten and a half hours. Not to say, is my fingers on? And they said yes. They took a vein, a nerve out of here to put in these fingers. And I come back to see Dr. Cat. And he said, everything's going along fine. I can pick up glass, cans, bottles, dishes hang up clothes on clothesline. I just didn't want to go without my fingers because I had cousins that had lost their fingers. And I seen the struggle that they had and how their hand looked and stuff. And I just didn't, I really didn't want to go that route. Well, I heard about different people coming here for their hands like the ball players coming here getting their hands taken care of. When they told me they was bringing me here, I thought, oh boy, I'm, they're probably bad. And I came out with my fingers. Dr. Cat, I think he's a godsend to me. I don't know what I'd do without him. Because by him saving my finger, I love him to death.